Welcome to this video on the midterm exam in Module 9. This video will be more brief than usual because it's only going to focus on the midterm exam. The midterm exam will cover the material from the first seven chapters of the text. And it will be in the form of a series of true and false questions and multiple choice questions. There will be a total of 30 of these questions and they will provide a possibility of 30 points. Each question in the exam has a, an indication of the chapter for which the question applies. So that will help you in researching answers. As you prepare for this exam, I wanted to recommend uh, three different steps that you should do for each chapter. At the beginning of each chapter, on the opening page, there is a section titled, After Reading This Chapter You Will Be Able To, and then follows a number of skills that you will develop. These items are the main emphasis of the chapter, and you should review them and become comfortable with them in preparation for the exam. At the end of each chapter, there's a section called Key Terms and Concepts. These are terms that are used throughout the chapter, introduced in the chapter, and they also have their page number associated with each term so that you can go look at the definition and see how it's used. These should also be studied closely. Also at the end of each chapter, there's a section titled Ready Recall. These are questions which you should review. Now, there are no essay questions on the exam, but the concepts covered in these ready recall questions are very useful to study, and if you become familiar with them, that will help you in the exam. The exam will uh, be timed, and you will have two hours to complete it, which should be plenty of time to, to do 30 questions, uh, and you'll only be given one take, of course. Uh, and you may use any of your past homeworks, reports, essays, anything that will, will, will assist you. The key concept here is that you must be able to go back and forth between your ebook and the exam. You can't exit the exam because if you exit, <clears throat> if you exit the exam, it will be over. And if you do this prematurely, it will seriously harm your grade. I have created a practice quiz, which is just a little quiz with three separate items in it and no point value. You can take the quiz up to 100 times, so you can use it to practice because you need to set up a technique where you can go from this quiz, as it would represent the exam, and be able to go over to the ebook in a different window probably, and be able to research a question and then be able to come back so that you can make a decision on the question that you that's in the exam. So it's very important that you develop this technique and get it smooth before you start so that you don't make the accident of exiting before you're finished. You can take, as I said before, you can use any resources that you want to use uh, during taking of this exam. I wish you good luck and good studying and I hope you do well. Thank you.